How's it going guys? Welcome to the Florida Keys. I've got my kayak with me. I just drove 1500 miles. Got some live baits and I know there's some tarpon over this way. So let's go ahead and get on after them. I couldn't be more excited. The wind is pretty insane. I wish I could make it different, but looks like this is how it's gonna be for the next week. So this is what I got. All right, there's some bridges over here and a couple of bridges, and they all come together kind of right in this area and that's kind of where I'm gonna fish. Here's the channel marker, nice beautiful channel in here. I'm gonna, since the wind's coming directly at me, I'm gonna try to use this island right here, key whatever it is, to try to block some of that wind, kind of sit around where that houseboat is. That's kind of my plan. Oh yeah, look at this beautiful water. All right, first spot here in Florida. Basically, there's a couple of channels that all kind of come together right here, and I know that there's a decent amount of tarpon that come through here. So I got about six decent sized pinfish and one big old mullet, a couple hours to fish, and I'm just gonna put out that big old mullet right here in all this current and see if a big old tarpon will come by. A little sketchy out here, more so than I would uh, wish for, but Hopefully we can stop that tarpon before he gets offshore because I don't want to go out there, but yep. Gonna go ahead and start working on getting them out. This is my tarpon setup. This is the Shimano Saragossa 10,000, Shimano Talavera boat, 8 aught circle hook, and about 6 feet of uh, 60 pound fluorocarbon. start with this little pinfish. He's pretty chewed up in the front, so I'll just go like that. And away he goes. Come on, tarpon, tarpon, tarpon. Come on, tarpon, tarpon, tarpon. Strong. Could be a shark, could be my tarpon. Oh! After all that. <sighs> well, that was sad. First fish I've hooked uh, went through the leader. Pretty sure that was a shark. It could be wrong though. But uh, we're down two pinfish. I got one behind me. I'm just gonna troll around. I kind of want to go check out these mangroves and stuff just a little bit. There it is. That's a sawfish. Please say you're good, dude.
Oh, that is so sad. Dude, I can't even believe that. It is huge. It's like 12 feet long or something. That is my freight. That is straight up my favorite fish on the entire planet, and there's something wrong with them. I literally just want to cry. There's been something where they call it spinning fish syndrome in the Keys, and uh, it's a been affecting rays, some grouper, some like pinfish and stuff like that, but particularly the sawfish. I need to call FWC, I think. I'm gonna call FWC. I have their number actually. Hi, I'm uh, by Geiger Key. And sucks because there's something wrong with it there's been something called spinning fish syndrome in the keys and it's killing like the sawfish and the grouper and the like rays and shit this is like literally a 12 foot fish and it, it's like up underneath the mangroves in two feet of water like there's something wrong with them it's a shark or what it's a huge sawfish it's literally my dream fish literally if i could see any fish in my entire life it would be this one right here that's like five feet away from me right now but he's f***ed up and i just want to cry all right we got our pinfish and the current's going out to the ocean right now so i'm just gonna put this right here and i'm gonna let the pinfish swim back in the current hopefully the tiger faces this way and this just goes straight back to their faces gonna feed out more and more line about 80 yards something like that so I just had like a 150 pound tarpon roll literally five feet away from me and then freak out because he saw the kayak it's crazy I'm just pulling my last pinfish around behind me I'm having a really hard time getting bait but uh, I think if I can get some bait I could catch a nice tarpon that one was huge that was a monster I was getting a little frustrated uh, I ran out of bait and I saw like a 150 pound tarpon or something but i came over here and there's a little spot right on the other side i'm getting grunt out of it and this is a good tarpon bait so i'm pretty happy i already got a couple of these all right i just got a little circle hook and a piece of fish bite and i'm throwing it right over here there's like a little shelf kind of thing and I saw a whole bunch of fish underneath it earlier so I'm just gonna flick it on over there let it sink I'm making a fool out of me come on I got tarpon to catch get on that hook there it is got him Whoop. there's a grunt I think I'm gonna go for four of them, and we'll uh, go ahead and go. But yeah, look how cute that guy is. Really good. I know tarpon love grunts, so we're gonna put this one out. For now, he's gonna go in my live well. 
and it looks like the sun's going down, so we should probably go fishing. this way this is the edge of the channel so I'm coming right into it right now I just have one out like 15 feet the other one out didn't have too much happen I had that one fish I hooked up that could have been like a barracuda or something and uh, then that crazy thing with the sawfish that all happened but I am uh, kind of winding down I'm probably gonna leave in five minutes so it's kind of dinner bell is ringing for the tarpon if they want it but uh, yeah I am actually freezing too 